All right, guys. So one of the things that's cool about Tesla is obviously it's software based. There's a lot of technology in the car, a lot of the screens in the car, be it the singular screen of the Model 3 or the dual screens of the Model S and X, it's all software based. And like software, it gets updates, it gets better over time, all that good stuff we already know. But let's talk about something that happens maybe incidentally or accidentally over time is that sometimes software malfunctions. Some, sometimes something goes wrong and the car just needs to fix itself and effectively be reset. So when we're talking about this concept here, uh, we know that Tesla's computers can be rebooted. But one of the cool things that most people may not know, and I hear a lot of people who just get their Model 3s or their Model S's and X's, they ask me, is they say, hey, sometimes something goes wrong. Maybe the map is frozen. Maybe the instrument cluster or something on the screen uh, is not where it should be or should not is looking a certain way that it shouldn't look. And they say, hey, I'm, 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 I'm driving. I'm afraid to pull over and restart the computers. And so one of the genius things that Tesla has done uh, with their cars is they sort of decoupled the functionality of the car with these touch screens for emergency purposes, right? And so what that means is that at any point in time as I'm driving, I can actually reboot the computers and have no loss to the capabilities of driving the car. Now, obviously some features can be missing as I reboot the computers, such as the HVAC system, but for the most part, I can completely drive undisturbed from the actual act of driving while rebooting my computers. Now, to reboot your computers, all you're gonna do is to be, is be able to hold down these two scroll wheels. And I'll show you this as I'm driving down this winding mountain so you can get a sense of it and to see it in action. So you hold down these two scroll wheels if you have a Model S or X that was built uh, about mid 2018 or later, you hold these down, icons will come up and the screens now go black. Now the screens are black, that means the computer is, is rebooting, but I can still drive, my headlights are still on, my turn signals are also still active, even though I won't hear them or see them in the inside of the car. If I turn a turn signal on, from the outside, you'll be able to see that as well. All right, so the computer is still rebooting. And again, mid-2018, you have MCU2, which means that it's a singular unit that reboots both computers at the same time. So holding down these scroll wheels, will reboot your computers at the same time, both the instrument cluster as well as the touchscreen. For the Model 3, you only have MCU2, so any Model 3 that you have when you reboot, it reboots a singular screen, obviously, so it's, there's no difference there. However, if you have an older car, like the Model S or Model X prior to tw mid-2018, you probably have MCU1, in which case you can also reboot the car while driving, but you can reboot the screens independently. So holding the scroll wheels together will reboot the main touch screen while holding down the two top buttons here for five seconds uh, will reboot the instrument cluster. So you can reboot them independently. That was the first sort of fail safe that they initiated. Allows you to be able to re reboot one screen while still having the visuals active. But now with the new MCU as a 2018 MCU 2, uh, you're gonna basically have the ability to, to reboot both screens at once and still maintain all of your driving capabilities while doing so. So this is a pro tip I wanna impart on everyone. Make sure you understand how it works. Make sure you understand that it's safe to reboot the computers while you're driving on the highway, while you're driving down local roads. It's okay, the car's functionality of driving is completely decoupled. Uh, now one thing to note is that as you reboot, you will lose the HVAC as I mentioned before. Uh, but you, it'll, it'll come back on as soon as the computers reboot back up. Uh, and if for whatever reason your screens go dead and they don't come back on, I've not seen that case, but in the event that it does, rest assured that you're, you'll still be able to drive the car as intended. And again, all your lights, your, your signals and things will come on. Now, if you reboot the computers and maybe your headlights are off and you need to turn them on, then you're going to be in a situation where headlights will still be off until the computer's rebooted and you can turn them off if you don't have them set to auto. That's one caveat there, but just know that you can rest assured doing that. Now, the other portion of this is driving with autopilot. What happens if you're driving with autopilot and you need to reboot to, to reset something to make sure that the computer is working as function, the screens are working as they function. Let's take a look and see what that looks like and see what happens. All right, now we're gonna try autopilot and then we're gonna reboot and see what happens. So I'll activate autopilot right now and then I'm gonna actually initiate the reboot right now and then see what happens. I'll have my foot on the ready and I'll actually boost this up to about 
four car lengths just for safety purposes. But the idea is that from here, autopilot should disengage when I reboot and I should be able to take over. But let's just give this a try just in case something has changed since the last time I tried this. All right, so I'll go slow and make this be the use case here. I'll hold these down. I'll reboot. And uh, it feels like autopilot is actually still working. It actually broke on its own. So yeah, even autopilot is still active. Wow, autopilot is still active. Autopilot is still active when you're rebooting. Screens are dead, but autopilot is still active. That's pretty cool. So that wasn't always the case, but it is the case now. So good that it works. I'm glad that it works. So the car is, is actually functional while the process of rebooting is happening on the computers. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like what you saw. Uh, if you like that, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll catch you in the next one.